friend Sports here and today's time for my FC24 defending tutorial. Defending in FC could be very tricky and feel frustrating from time to time and the reason why is because you're used to a different system from previous FIFAs that is no more valid. This year you need a new approach and a new defensive mindset and today I'll teach you how to think and how to defend in FC24. The first thing you must change is your mindset. So last game, last year in FIFA 23, you could just push with your center backs without problems. You could just lunge forward and then recover quickly. Without problem, they were moving smoothly. But this habit will cost you this year plenty of goals in FC 24. This now you must uh, stop and just completely banish. Just ban that. So don't commit as much with your center backs, don't push so much with the defense because you have this here the so-called ice skating effect which means it takes longer time to transit and if you take one step wrong that might uh, cost you a goal as it takes a long time for the defender to turn back and recover that position. So this year you must be way more patient with your center backs and don't commit as much. That is the biggest difference. Tranquilo. Next up, uh, we have tactics and structure, and uh, this is going to be told many times, but the best structure in defense is 4-4-2, and you can tweak almost any formation to make it defend as a 4-4-2. The reason why it's the best is because you have support in every line. The wingers are supported by the strikers, and the fullbacks by the wingers, and the centerbacks by the sentiments. There is perfect symmetry and always, always support which is this here a major major key never isolate defenders because then you will be in problems and then we have settings and we have this here a big uh, well a big discussion between tactical or advanced and both are fine if you have here tactical you will perform these uh, seal outs contextually while pressing circle and also if you hit l2 as well the shielding button you can also seal out so just here tap L2 when you close, lined up shoulder to shoulder, tap L2 and you get this kind of manual seal out when using tactical defending. But if you use your advanced defending, then you have this feature is completely separate from, from circle which is stand tackle and with advanced defending you can perform seal outs on demand that also have a bit more powerful animation as well and that could be sometimes useful but also sometimes could be of course dangerous as you might expose yourself with this very big and sometimes quite clumsy animation. And the key for this one to work out is to have good play styles and good stats on the players. And to seal out like this manually you hit here the X button, you hold the X button while you're close to the opponent. You hold it, but bear in mind again the feature might be sometimes the clumsy so always perform seal outs when having some kind of support behind you. In this case here we have uh, Varan not supported and that's going to end up bad. So always have support behind you when making seal outs. But yeah, sometimes seal outs are just crazy good. Switch then is the best setting. Well, you can defend perfect with both. Advanced defending has higher peaks, but the seal outs could be sometimes a bit inconsistent. And that's why I find tactical defending a bit more reliable. And sometimes also easier as you can still contain when pressing down the X button using tactical which this year might be helpful sometimes for more casual players. But the difference is not massive and this one setting will not solve your defensive problems but should be seen instead rather as an additional tool to a strong existing foundation. And then we have new feature this year which is so important and that is a key in defense as well and that is the play styles. If you have these play styles defending will be a lot easier. So I think the best ones here to look for at the back is anticipate for better stand tackle. You can see here Varan he has here this uh, play style plus which gives him extra reach when making a tackle and that makes defending a lot easier. So this game is I'd say quite pay to win so defending at the beginning could be difficult but then as your team gets better and as you get better playstyles and better players, defending will get much easier, so have patience. But at the beginning, with the poor players and no playstyles, defending is super, super tough. But you have plenty of cheap players with some great playstyles, and this year I'd say first look for playstyles and then stats. The playstyles mean more. You also have as well Jockey being great and also Intercept, and that is amazing for centimeters and CDMs. 
to help you protecting your center backs from being exposed. And if you use advanced defending, then Brewster is fantastic to give you more powerful sealouts, as discovered by the genius Nofil Khan. So give this man a follow. And then we come to the actual methods, and this year's maybe biggest key is to defend as a unit. Defend with the whole team, and that means all ports here helps out and are active in the defensive tasks. Uh, strikers, midfielders, the entire team. And try to not touch your defense so much. Last year you could just here push center backs forward, full back center backs, commit and then recover, but this year no. That will just uh, create the uh, havoc and the vocal, so that's why. Defend with the entire team and track back. Don't be lazy, be patient, track back, help out with every part of the team. Strikers, wingers, sentiments, use the help. And a good help here is a second man press button using your R1 or the Xbox to press the ball holder while you manually here cut off the passing lanes. That's always been a winning recipe. And this year's biggest threat is the cutbacks and that is hard to stop but there are some nice tricks and that is first of all to always cover this inside pass manually and let the AI take the ball holder while you manually cut off these passes in the middle. That is the danger area. So the AI takes the first press and you manually will cover here this dangerous area. And if the opponent takes a bad touch, just hit L1 quick switch and then apply pressure on the ball holder. But mainly always cover inside with your manual player. And also what is a great feature to stop the cutbacks is a partial team press. And that is if you hit the R1 twice, press and hold. R1, R1, press, hold. And you get the, these two indicators that's from the AI that will mark players in the box. It is very useful to stop cutbacks. That means you can here control three players, kind of. You have two being marked by the AI, your player is marking. And then you still have your own player manually, which can be used here also to either apply pressure on the ball holder or as well mark players in the box. But on the wing, a great feature here is a partial team press, R1, R1, press and then hold, like this, press hold, like this, press hold. And with the guy that you control manually in the box, what you should do always is a jockey. Always then with this guy, you hold down L2 jockey to get higher control and to easier here transit and to stop these cutbacks and the tap-ins. You can also as well speed jockey by holding down both L2 and R2 at the same time to simply move here with high accuracy even faster. And there's one last resort. If all goes south, you can use that R1 tackle here to, well, try to block the shot and that obvious goal to just hit here R1 square and you get these uh, sometimes crazy blocks, which are extra good as well, of course, with the play style called slide tackle. But that is the R1 square tackle as a last resort but of course you shouldn't end up in this situation you always must the track back and help out with the midfield to support here these center backs that's why i say once again try to never isolate center backs in the box always support with either one more center back a full back or a center mid always defend with support it is so important but sometimes still you must defend 1v1 one one. it happens every game multiple times and how then to think well don't commit again, don't push up. Instead, run along backwards, hold down speed jockey L2 or 2 or just jockey L2 and wait for a bad touch. And then you strike. But don't be too passive. There's a fine difference between being uh, passive and patient. Always stay close to the ball holder and always here be in tackling range and wait for that moment to strike. But never be too passive, just patient. How about then stand tackle? Should I use that? Yes, I think you should sometimes, but sparingly. Don't spam it. So when to use it? Well, when there is no threat behind, first of all, to get extra reach. And the longer you hold circle or Xbox that is B, the longer reach the tackle gets. So you get this extra reach. In this case here, great, there's no threat behind. Or if there is a threat and there is no other way, you need that extra reach, then hit circle. And there's one third reason, and that is when blocking shots. To give you here as well some extra blocking reach. Alright, that is it for today. Hope you found this one useful and helpful. And don't forget, again now, defend with patience, defend as a unit. And also what helps out a lot is good playstyles. That is this year a massive key. 
but that is it for today's see you guys again tonight for the RTG. Thank you so much for watching. As always, you know, until next time, take care.